Welcome to the newest installment of Who's In The Spotlight. I'm the man, the myth, the gift, what's the store with T-Moore. And today we are live here in Philadelphia, PA, south side of Philly, actually. I have Miss Taj, the creator, director, negotiator of the web series, Lord. Yes, yes, yes. How we doing? I'm great. Um, it's a little cold, but it's okay. I'm just happy to be here to promote my brand and let people know about loyalty. Definitely check it out on YouTube, loyalty six. I'm working on episode seven right now. Nice. We're just working and grinding and trying to make it happen. I got a lot of good people involved. We're just making this shit happen, no matter what. Let's talk about the web series. Okay. Tell the people how you got started. What was your passion behind it? Well, actually, um. I remember the beginning of 2017, my um, resolution for 2017 was to get back into the film business. Um, I worked in the film industry for some years and I got out of it, worked in the corporate world. And you know, a lot of people during the years was like, hey, you need the actor, you should model. And I'm like, no, I'll be the one behind set, setting up the camera, setting right. up everything and whatever. So, you know, I heard it so many times, so I just felt like, you know, why not take a try? So. You know, probably about the beginning of 2017, I had um, did a little sketch. It was loyalty. It wasn't really loyalty. It was just a little sketch I had got two of my people involved in. And we just kind of ran with it. My name wasn't loyal. My name wasn't loyalty. The show wasn't loyal. It was just something that I just kind of freestyled along the way. And it ended up being this big thing going on in Jersey. Okay. Um, who does your film? Um, me? Well, a lot of people, when I go on set, um, they see this teenager with me as my daughter. Um, she's been born this since she's been like 15 years old. Uh, she's a videographer. Um, a lot of scenes that I'm inside of, she'll film, and a lot of scenes that I'm not in, she'll film and I'll direct it, or I'll be the one to go out and film some of the scenes and stuff like that. But yeah, my daughter, she plays a real big, big part of what I'm doing. How did you, I know you just touched on it a little bit, but it was just something that people kept hitting you with as far as you need to be on camera instead of behind camera. So that was how you kind of fell into acting or did, is this something that you went to school for? No, I didn't go to school for acting. Um, acting was something that I just wanted to kind of take a chance with. You know, so many people during the years was like, oh, you're pretty, you're beautiful, you should model, you should act, you should do this. And I always was like, nah, no, that's not for me. But then, um. I just took a chance with it, you know what I mean? I have a regular job. I was like, hey, if I fail at it, at least I still have my job. So it was just something that I just took a chance with and then I actually ended up being good at it. Nice. Yeah. Are you moving Are you moving around with this show or is it just based upon New York and Jersey? Um, I move around a little bit. Um, I do plan to go to Brooklyn. Um, I got one of my rappers that got some dope music on the show, Shot De Niro. I mean, big up to my nigga Shot De Niro. You know what I mean, um, definitely want to go out to Brooklyn and do a couple scenes with him. But basically, right now we're in the tri-state area. I do plan to go into other states and stuff like that, as long as the opportunity arises. Yeah. You heard that she coming to Cleveland, baby. Two one six. We gonna bring it. We about to hook this connection up. Um, <laughs> what challenges have you come across being a female? You know, what I'm saying with this passion that you have. Well, you know. It's a male-dominated industry, so a lot of guys, you know, some of the guys, they see me come on set and they just, some of them, they, they want to kind of take control, but, you know, they, they see I'm so dominant in what I do, you know what I mean, is they can't really take control that much, um, you know, because the men, they, they feel like they know a little more than a woman, but now in these day and ages, it's not like that anymore. I'm very, very, very um, powerful with what I'm doing, and I go... And I'm manhandling shit, you know what I mean? I don't know if I'm curious or something. Yeah, go ahead, let it go, let it go. Yeah, yeah um, me and my daughter, we come through it, we just manhandle it, and when, you know, at the when it's done, when it's at the end, when we edit it and put it online, it's looking it's looking really good. Nice. Yeah. Um, casting, let's talk about this. Because you can always come to somebody and, like, and say, yo, I got this idea, I want to put A, B, and C together. But they may not really feel it or, you know, kind of see your vision. So let's talk about casting before they seen the vision and talk about casting now that the project is out. You're going into uh, episode number seven. Let the people know how real people are about certain things. Um, 
honestly, a lot of my casts come from someone that knows someone. Okay. Um, they'll be like, hey, you know, my brother, he wants to be in the show really bad. Or they may text me or hit me on Instagram or DM, direct message me. A lot of my own, my, a lot of my cast, my stars in the show, they bring a lot of the um, the talent into the show. Okay. Um, like Esco, he's um, Nasir, that's one of my own actors here. He brings a lot, a lot of talent in there. Um, Sharif, Morocco is real, he's actually a rapper. He brings a lot of talent. So a lot of the cast members um, play as um, talent scouts and stuff like that and bring it in a lot of the um, cast and stuff like that, yeah. Okay, let's talk about Jersey. Since your jersey's on, let's talk a little bit about what Jersey means to you. Because as an outsider being from Cleveland, Ohio, when I think of Jersey, I think of certain things. I think of certain people. I think about Redman, Tretch. I think about New Jersey Drive, which y'all still in them cars like crazy. I think about just another day living in the hood, just another day around the way. Miss Queen, Latifah, that's who I think about. So what do Jersey mean to you exactly? Jersey means strength. Um, Jersey means talent. There's so many creative artists in Jersey that's 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 working their way up from the bottom and just climbing their way up to the top. And Jersey is strength to me. Jersey is struggle. Jersey is real. Jersey is grind. Jersey is Jersey. Right. <laughs> well, I've been to, I've been through Jersey a few times around East Orange and around East um, Newark and. You can be riding in Jersey like, man, this is the most incredible house I've ever seen. And then as soon as you say that, you're like, wait a minute, where am I at? From riches to rags, immediately. Yeah. Yes, yeah. I remember one of the neighborhoods I grew up in in East Orange, one of the streets, you go down that street, it was like beautiful big houses, like mansions and all the like the teachers and the principals lived on that street. But then one or two blocks later, <laughs> it was the hood. Yeah, it was guys on the, the corner yeah. sitting out there hustling and doing their thing. Right. It's like it's it's the good and the bad, you know. Um, but Jersey's a beautiful, beautiful, very beautiful state. They call it, call it the Garden State. It's yeah. a very beautiful town to live in. Okay. Yes. Okay. Right. Um, what's your ultimate goal with the show? Where do you want to take it? Where do you see it going? What's your vision? Um I want to I want to take all my people. I just want to make sure I can help them and make sure that they're able to take care of their families. Like that's I want to get it that way. I want to get it on HBO, Netflix or Showtime. I just want to make sure all the people that's involved in the show um, are able to live happy and comfortably and take care of their families and their kids and stuff like that. And when I get it to that point, that's when I feel like my my job is is, is done. That's a beautiful thing. You yeah. providing, you want to provide a way for others. Yes, just exactly. to give back to what you're doing. Exactly, because they they and they some of them are so committed to what I'm doing. You know, anytime I need them, they're there. Tosh, what time you want? They text me. Oh, you want when you want to film? And they're taking time out of their life to to be a part of what my dream. And I really, really appreciate that. I really appreciate them for that because they don't. They could be just out in the club like eh, doing you know, anything. You know, but they be like, yeah, I'm here Friday night. They did. They could be out. And, you know, chilling with their dudes, but they're coming film loyalty because they see a bigger picture and they see a bigger vision with the whole project. That's a true testament to who you are and what you yes. stand for. Here's mm -hmm. the last question we're going to toss out. It's a little something different, something we was thinking about. Last but not least, with the success of everything, how humble you are, if you had to choose a charity or a group to give back to or support, what group would, it, would you choose? Um, definitely um, one of the sickle cell groups, um, that disease, it, it, you know, it took a couple of my family members, um, my daughter suffers from the disease, um, so I know the struggles and the crisis and the pains and everything like that, you know, we do what we can to keep her healthy and um, happy and stuff like that. Um, another group I would um, donate to or be a, a speaker for is um, domestic violence. Um, I am a victim of domestic violence with my own husband. Um, it's something very dear to me, you know, just telling any woman or encouraging any woman to just walk away. Because I walked away. I wanted to stay, but the more I stayed, the more I could have died or one of us would have died because it was that bad. It was horrible, but you don't need to be with anyone that's going to put their hands on you. Just walk away and um, you're better than that. First of all, I want to just thank you for coming all the way from Jersey, all the way from Jersey 
to Philadelphia, PA, to give us this um, wonderful interview. Yes. Um, it just lets people know how serious you are about your craft and how you believe in what the House of Waters team is doing. Yes. With who's in the spotlight, Mars vs. Venus, and my man coming with the inspirational joint, Adrian the Voice. Um, okay. Shoot out your social media, shoot out the web series, shoot out any information that you want the people to kind of connect to. Yes. Definitely check me on IG. That's where I am mostly. That's Tony, T-O-N-Y, Masana, M-A-S-O-N-N-A. -N -N -A. Go to YouTube, pull up Loyalty 6. That's my show. And you can see all the other shows I'm involved in. Definitely check us out. Tech ties out. <laughs> Loyalty. Yes. It's your boy. What's the story with T-Moore? You better check all of us out. You better do that, do that, do, do that, that, that. Peace. <laughs>